Hi everyone, Kay here. So um, tonight I'm going to um, have a play in my journal. Uh, this is something I made ages ago and I haven't actually been working in it. So I thought it was about time I filled up some pages. I'll start it to anyway. Look, I did it in 21. Good grief, so it does need filling up. So I've started to put a few things in. Um, and so let's get to this page. This is Cotton Rag, which is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So I thought I'd actually do a page on here. Um, and I'm into tags at the moment, so um, I thought I'd um, have a play with that. So um, what I'm going to do, I think, is do a print from a stencil. So I'm going to put some spray colour on here, but um, I'm making sure that I don't waste what's underneath, so I'm using watercolour card underneath to catch the spray. And then I'm going to use it to stamp onto the page. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. So what we've got here, we've got the Vivids uh, Blue Satin Sashes. So this um, this has got micro in it, so you need to shake it to wake it. And oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And you can see that it's actually um, a, a pump system that's uh, airless. So um, can you see there's a bit of air in there? So I just need to take the top off and the bottom and I just need to push I know you I, you can't see this you need to push the bottom up a little bit until there's no air showing put it together there you go can you see excellent so I'm just going to spray this a little bit so this is the bit that I'm not using today this bit which is oh isn't that gorgeous I'm gonna put that somewhere to dry and then this bit is what I'm actually going to um, stamp with so let me just cover up my under pages and again I'm not going to throw those away because I'll use those let's bring my journal in and then I'm going to stamp using this so let's go on here because I want um, quite a faded background. Let me get my cloth here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. That's perfect. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, and just so I don't waste this other bit. Julianne says, Vivids look like fun. <gasps> the Vivids are fun, I tell you. They are so addicted. Addictive, I should say. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so you can see how many prints you can get off here. So I could actually wet that a little bit more and carry on with the printing. Um, but I'm not for now. I'll just put it to one side. And, of course, the one that I sprayed... I put onto watercolour cards, so that is going to be another project. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And when it dries, you will yeah. see the mica in it, which is just beautiful. This is obviously one of my favourite colours. This is blue satin sashes, and it is just amazing. Now, the thing about all the Vivids are they are really, really, really strong, and um, so a little goes a long way. You can add loads and loads of water to them, and you can get multiple prints from them. So they are just delicious. Right, so that's my background. I'm not going to do any more to it at the moment because I'm just going to carry on with um, playing with my tags and everything. Um, but I think that's really lovely, really delicate. Um, if I wanted to, I could add water to that and then that would soften it and it would um, run, which is a really lovely effect. But that is just going off to one side for the moment. So... Um, I'm into my tag templates at the moment, so, and I love these. Now, I know that we've all got dyes. Look at that, I've got spray on it. That doesn't matter. But I just find this so much quicker than rooting around, getting my machine out, getting my dyes out. Um, so I'm going to go with this size. So quick whiz round here. Well, I'm just going to do T. 
two of these and that one ooh, it doesn't quite fit but I'm just going to shorten it by about a millimeter so that it does actually fit there we go and you can get quite lost house of an A4 sheet UK size so um, where are big scissors don't know um, so just give these a good snip like this dead easy really quick and put some holes in them and in actual fact i've already done that Dee says hope you had a nice break we had such a lovely time in northumberland thank you for asking d it was superb um it was just yeah fantastic we did very very little we just chilled out didn't we mm -hmm. um went for walks with the dogs and went to the pub and um, cooked some nice food it was just heaven we haven't had 10 days off like that in a long long time so it's really good so um these are my artist papers number it's the cool ones it's the cool ones there you go so this is artist papers cool these were the warm ones so i'm going to use page that I hardly ever use um, because it's got fishies on. No, I don't know why I don't use it because it's fab. Um, and I'm just going to use this piece I think here. So let's get out some slapping on that. Here we go, slap it on mat. This is perfect. So these papers are really great for decoupage because they're nice and thin. So I'm going to put um, some slap it on mat on there. I'm actually going to put it onto the tag as well. There we go. So let me just move that over so you can see. So I'm just going to use this area here, I think, and let's do the tags. You can see how much I'm putting on. So plenty, plenty on, and that way, both pieces of um, card or paper are the same wetness, as it were. So you're not going to get any buckling at all. So that slides into place there quite nicely and oh, I've got far too much on there so this is slapped on matte so it dries matte um, and the lovely thing about it is that it doesn't give you any um, cloudy residue at all it gives you a really nice clean finish um, which is absolutely matte um, and you can't see any of your brush strokes in it at all okay so that's far too much so i'll just put that off to one side for a minute because we're going to use that in a moment there we go so that one's going to go there pauline says going to northumberland in july oh are you it's fantastic so if you saw um some of our vlog videos that we took whilst we were there we found um the um smokehouse it was called the swallow fish wasn't it swallow mm, don't know. swallow fish smokehouse in the back streets of um sea houses look it up it's amazing go in the morning while they've got all the fish because they sell out swallow fish yeah swallow fish and um they have the most amazing original smokehouse isn't it from mm. the 1800s or something and um obviously kippers but we had some uh, smoked haddock chowder which was to die for absolutely so you've got to try that out what was our favorite fish and chip shop called the lewis's yeah it was wasn't it it was lewis's on the high street mm -hmm. crab and chips that's all i'm going to say crab and chips ah, amazing um then favorite gift shop 
that's got to be drift and I bought a couple of really beautiful things from there um, and she is so lovely um, oops hang on I'm cutting this out while it's still wet which is not advisable I should have given it a blast with the heat gun or at least let it just dry off a little bit but you know me I'm so impatient um, favorite walk Alfie which beach Alfie probably Bambra Bambra yeah probably I think you're right it's a um, beautiful beach uh, and of course next to the castle um, and you can take your dogs on there it's just heaven isn't it and then you've got to go and have an ice cream obviously um, Anik is beautiful got to go to Barker Book Books Barter Barter I should say sorry Barter Books which is just an incredible place Okay, so you can see you get a lovely um, background all done for you without you having to put all those many, many layers all over it, um, which I really, really like. Um, I should use my papers more often because it makes a job really nice and quick. If you've only got a short period of time to play, then this is the one for you. Right, so I'm going to... Um, gets a couple of my stamps out. I'm going to use this fine majestic blue because we've obviously got a bit of a blue thing going on here and I'm going to use the Matrix Collector's Edition number 49 um, and I'm just going to stamp this freestyle. Crimson Rose so. Creations has joined us from Georgia. Hi there from Georgia, lovely for you to join us. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, so a little bit off the side and then I'm just going to put a little bit down the edge here just to add to it. Um, let's go with this one. Let's put some up here, I think. There we go. I love this stamp. This is... Um, if you watch me regularly, obviously you'll know that I love this stuff. The Matrix. Fantastic. And Ruth, Ruth joined from Michigan. Hi, Ruth from Michigan. <laughs> it is Michigan, isn't it? Not Michigan. Well, mm. <laughs> depends who you talk to. So, hi, Ruth. Thank you so much for joining us. So, Susan's um, asked, any more collector edition stamps coming out soon? Oh, yes. We have indeed, um, because we tend to bring out 12 a year. And um, yes, we have got more in the pipeline. Um, I've got a couple to do on my desk actually. So yes, indeedy. I love this one as well. This is the tiny little grungy circles, as you can see. And they're great for adding a little bit of extra texture. I'm just gonna go down here as well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, give that a wrap with that. That'll do. That'll do. Me thinks. Okay, so also we just need to get a little bit of warmth around the edges there. I'm using um, a Stabilo oil pencil because it goes on to lots of different surfaces. That's why I love it so much. But also it is a watercolor pencil as well if you want to use it like that. But it just works incredibly well going around the edges of this. Now it is a, a little, still a little bit damp. I should have really dried these tags off. But look at this blue, it's just the perfect colour, isn't it? And it matches 
everything. So Jill says, what are you cleaning your stamps with, please? Uh, I clean my stamps just with a rag, just with a... Well, this is actually a bamboo rag that you can actually wash in the washing machine. Um, and that's all I use if I'm using ink. Um, but if I'm stamping with paint, I wash them with water um, straight away because they can... Um, the paint can stick to your stamps, obviously. So just ink, I'd just give them a wipe over. Um, and then I'm just going quite rough really around the edges. I've just got to be careful down there because I have torn it, but well, it's okay, it, it will survive. So this is the blue one, and um, we have got those on the website now. In fact, we've got the brown, the black, the white, which I love, and a beautiful sunny yellow as well. So we've got all of those available now. I'm just, obviously, I'm getting a little bit addicted to them. So um, I'm just going to get a wet brush and just move that colour a little bit from the edge, just so that it's not so neat and just bring that in a little bit and it's lovely how you can oh, see I've pulled some of the paper off there in my rush but that's okay I can live with that and this is the beauty of the old pencils because um, all not oil a double L because um, it will go on to all the different surfaces including plastic and so it doesn't matter what um, layers you're doing in your mixed media or your card or whatever it is you're doing it will actually go over the top okay so that's that's looking better for me let's put that away okay um, now I do actually want to be able to tuck things behind, so I think we're sort of going to go like this. So I don't want to glue them down, um, so that's why I'm going to use a stapler just to... Oh, I could do with some holes in there, couldn't I? <laughs> that would help. Okay, let's just get some holes in here. I'm just using, obviously, just a normal hole punch but you can use whatever you've got so yes I want to I want to show some of that orange bit I think that's really really lovely and let's have them sort of offset maybe maybe like that so let's let's put them like that and then let's put this baby about there so I might just do a little kiss there and I'm not going to th go through all of, all of the layers I'm just going to go through the one underneath so like so so we can actually get underneath all of these tags so that I can insert stuff into them. Now I have already got one here that I've attached some uh, bit of scrap ribbon and fabric or lace and stuff like that. Looks quite similar um, and again this is you know so I can tuck things underneath. The good thing is it's nice and dry as well. Okay so that's that. Let's put that away. Let's bring in um, a piece of card. We'll stick with the Versafine. Let's get um, a thin Lizzie. And I'm going to use uh, Mid Mod stamps. Um, we've had this out a few weeks now, and I love these stamps. I can't get enough of them. I really can't. I think they're just so versatile and gorgeous so I'm going to do a couple of these so this is um, a super smooth 
that I'm using at the moment um, just because it was hanging around nothing in nothing special about it let me just give that a wipe um, let's have one of these and I'm going to put him up there and then I'm going to use my blue pencil and give them a stalk there we go one with the stalk and we'll do one without okay so that's I just think they're lovely and we've got some gorgeous circles here let's have a couple of those in that size because these can be anything um, and let's have a medium one excellent they're just lovely aren't they we've got some solid ones here which work really really well i love that one as well beautiful right so that's my mid mark i think we've got enough there um, and let me just bring in the ones I've actually already cut out. So I've actually coloured these just with um, that one I did with the pencil, the blue pencil. And these I actually did with um, a pen, watercolour pen. Um, this one, what colour should we do that and these? So let's bring our pencil back. And I just want this quite, quite faded. So I don't want much colour on the outside. So we'll just have a little bit of blue on the inside there. And I'll have a little tiny bit of blue in the middle. I don't know what's going to happen when I put the yellow over the top, but I'm hoping I'll get a green. I do, which is good. We like that. Um, let's get a wet brush going. Let's move this out of the way. Kathy so, Ashley says hello. Oh, Kathy! Hi, darling. So lovely to hear from you. It's been ages. Sending you lots of love, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in Maidstone. When are we in Maidstone, Alfie? Uh, can you remember? <clears throat> so, can you see how you can? Oh, it's difficult to see. I know this is out of focus, but you can just see how you can pull out the colour September really nicely. Oh, September! It'll be here soon. And then I'm just wetting the middle a little bit just to mix those pencils. Um, should we go with just a bit of yellow on here and green there? Shame I haven't got an orange. I don't even know whether I'm going to use this one, but I will colour it anyway. So again, with the all pencils, just laying down a bit of colour. And this is, I think... This is one that I already had cut out, so it's it's on a black background, a uh, black ink it's stamped with. So let's just wet this and get that moving around a little bit. Lovely. Let's wet that and just pull that out a little bit. Such a lovely colour, isn't it, that blue? We've done well, stubbornly. 
and that's green there we go okay i don't know whether i'm going to use that but it's there just in case okie doke so let's put these to one side and let's see what we can have a play with let's see what this this is going to look like now come on move out of the way move it move it there we go okie doke right so see how what i mean i didn't want too much going on on the outside to compete with this because I thought that would actually um, work quite nicely. Yeah, I think that would, that'll go. Is this a blue pen? It is. I think I might just do a little bit of my wiggly wiggly around the edge here. Just to tie this in, I think would be would be a good look. So if you've got an unsteady hand, this is perfect for you. <laughs> I used to love um, geography at school, and I used to do this round all the coastlines. <laughs> used to love colouring in all those charts and everything. Mm -hmm. Shirley says, thanks for giving me the confidence to play. Oh, Shirley, you're welcome. Um, if we've achieved that, that's brilliant. Because you don't have to do this for anyone other than yourself. And you deserve to be able to have a little bit of me time. There we go. So just, yeah, that finishes it in a little bit more it contains it doesn't it right so i'm gonna actually stick this um this main piece down here just this one i think because we don't want to stick the rest otherwise we're not going to be able to tuck things in so only this area here so for this one i'm going to use grab and go because you want an adhesive for this rather than um just uh, slap it on um, you want a good adhesive. I put a little bit too much on there. Just wipe the nozzle before I put that away. And let me just um, just need to hold that down for a few seconds while that grabs. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Dee's looking forward to the May the thirteenth for the next Zoom. Oh yes, yeah, that's our next um, journal class, which um, is going to be, I love the journal classes, I have to say, um, they are brilliant. And if you haven't joined us on any of the journal classes, you don't have to start at one and work your way across them, you can just join in the next one, but they are really, really good fun. Okay, so now you can see that we can tuck things behind here. So I'm actually going to start off by leaving this white and just letting that stay white, which is unusual for me to actually just accept white for what it is, which gives you that lovely rest on a, com on a composition. I think that's one of the things I struggle with which is white space so for me this is um, a challenge not to colour it in there we go that's such a beautiful shape isn't it okay so I think I would like this here so let's have a little bit of grab and go there the grab and go is great because it actually does hold after just a few seconds so um, that works really nicely. Let's have this peeping out of here with that lovely bright orange on. Or should we put it under that? No, let's do that. Okay, and then this one. You see it just reflects that orange bit there let's have it further down round about here I think 
Now, where can we put this? I think that'd look nice sort of sprouting out of there. So you remember that I actually drew on this stem just with my pencil. There we go. Let's bend that. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got one, two. We need a third one, don't we? So let's have a third one of this. Just peeping out there, perhaps. Okay. I was going to put something in the background there, but I don't think it needs it. I think that is too much. And this was going to go in on here, but I, no. Hmm. What do you reckon? I'll take a drink while you decide. Not convinced. You're not convinced, Alfie. Mm. My nails are coordinating with the paper. They, <laughs> they are, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't plan that. <laughs> That's wrong colour. You're not convinced you think I should just leave it like that. Okay, I'll take your advice. Yeah, Lorna says. So. No, leave it off, says Lorna. Well, Lorna's Lorna is the boss, so I will do as I'm told. <laughs> okay. So um it's the nineteenth today, isn't it, Alfie? Yes. So nineteen four. 23 there we go see that's a really simple page isn't it but I really enjoyed doing that and it was quick wasn't it mm -hmm. really quick so we'll see what I'm going to do with this one. But yeah, so I love that with all the little flaps and everything and bits of stuff coming out. And I think that worked really nicely. I enjoyed that. That was good. Right. So tomorrow, guys, you have got to join us tomorrow. Um, thanks, Jenny. <laughs> thanks, Anne. Um, thanks, Dee. Um, you've got to join us tomorrow, 11 a.m. We are going to launch brand new paints. And I have got some surprises for some of the people who um, gave us suggestions for some of the names. So, launching stamps as well. So you have to watch us. We have also got new stamps. We've got new paints. We've got new stencils. Um, it's just going to be fantastic. Really, really excited um, to see what you think of them. So 11 a.m. and we're also one at 6 p.m. as well. So those who are um, working, um, grab your tea early, sit in front of the telly um, or iPad or whatever it is you use and join us at 6 p.m. tomorrow for our um, launch of our new products, which I can't wait. Um, and then we also have a Crate and Craft show, which is different stuff, next week on the 25th, 25th. on the 25th of April. Um, so yeah, busy, busy, busy. Um, and that's going to be really good fun as well. So, um, so yeah, join us then. 11 o'clock tomorrow, 6pm tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for joining us and I'll see you very soon. Take care and get some crafting done.